and asked the 10th National Assembly set to commence in June 2023. A group of CSOs in the country is demanding a robust legislature with youths and women representatives playing pivotal roles in the three tiers of the country's parliament. The groups while emphasizing the importance of the legislature in any democracy say the inclusiveness of all eligible Nigerians irrespective of age or gender is very crucial for its survival. Plus TV Emmanuel Eugene has the report. The groups under the auspices of the Nigerian Network of Parliamentary Monetary Organization has advocated youth participation in the country's legislature with the theme of the project being the popular project which stands for promoting open parliament for legislative accountability. The group says it's setting the agenda for youth, women and persons with disability inclusion in parliament. The executive director of that paper, Mr. Oke Epia, who was represented by program director Timitayo Sodik, stated the objective of the advocacy initiative. The legislature play a very important role in um, our lives as individuals because the laws that they make go ahead to affect the destinies of both those who are living and children unborn. And so, the legislature play a very um, important role being the closest and those who are directly connected with constituents. All of these things I've said informs the desire for citizens to see a parliament that is transparent. In their goodwill messaging, stakeholders called for the inclusiveness of youth in parliament as they constitute over 36% of the voting population, as observed at the just concluded general elections. They also called for openness and effectiveness of this legislature. They also called on the civil society to put the legislature on its toes and not wait till its condom broke before reporting its activities. So why is it that we should wait for controversies? For us to be able to start speaking. What is that agenda that you need to drive the house till the end of the house? Because once you drive that agenda, you will come out with some indices of that is so impactful that you can now see that at the end of the day, this is what we have achieved. This advocacy also aims to build public support for the youth issues and increased investment in youth through public awareness campaign at the state and national level. We have also championed advocacy drives to increase the capacity and skills development for youths increase economic empowerment. It would be a bit more easier if we have an effective parliament because to a large extent what we try to do to hold government accountable and to show them uh, what is expected and to tell them, okay, I mean, we're partners in this thing, we think these things, certain things could be done better, you know, is actually primarily the job of a uh, parliament. And if they are able to call this out and work together with us to ensure that the executive arm of government sits, you know, on their toes to deliver on the dividends of democracy. The event also featured a discussion panel session where salient issues on youths, women and persons with disability expectations from the 10th National Assembly. The call at the end is that youths must be made part of the leadership system in the country. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.